So here we are behind the wheel of the BMW iX. The design phase of this project really started with thinking a lot about the interior atmosphere that we wanted to create. We were inspired by modern architecture. In fact, we wanted to create something like a loft on wheels. So something fairly reduced, cozy seating arrangement, a large flat screen, and not much more, to be honest. The vehicle itself is technologically very, very complicated and is probably the most intelligent vehicle that BMW has ever built. But it's exactly this kind of technology that has allowed us uh, to reduce uh, the interior design dramatically. So what we've done is we were able to reduce the amount of switches. We're not switchless, but we definitely have a lot less switches. Things like ventilation have been minimized and the screen indeed has grown in size, is curved and has touch functionality. We've also been able to reduce elements by combining them. Um, this wooden surface, for example, is not just a beautiful surface, it also incorporates some micro switches. And this glass object is not just a decorative element, it is our iDrive controller and it also holds uh, touch functionality. So there is functions that don't immediately meet the eye. We call this shy tech. The technology is there, but not so much in your face. So it's the definite opposite of high tech. All in all, we think we have been able to create an interior that will extend your personal private space into the public domain. So now let's have a look at the exterior. Inside profile, the iX looks clean and robust, monolithic almost, like a well-rounded stone with some facets sheared off. The car has a footprint of a BMW X5, the roof height of a BMW X6, and the wheel size of an X7. So for us in design, we felt these were ideal ingredients to create a strong design character. The shape that we've managed to create is not only Looking clean, it also works very well from an aerodynamic point of view. With this shape, we've managed to achieve a CX factor of 0.25, and that's a new best in this vehicle class. And when you reduce the form language to the extent that we did, all the details matter that much more. Overall, in this shape, we've managed to reduce the number of shut lines, and we've taken great care of every single detail. Things like the door handles, for example, that are completely integrated into the body side, or things like the lamps, where we've created a new and slim light signature, both front and rear, by which you will recognize this vehicle not just as a new BMW, but as the new BMW iX. So with all of this, we believe the iX is much more than a new electric vehicle from BMW i. It is showing how we intend to make mobility more sustainable, more connected, but also easier to use and definitely much more human. As a matter of fact, we believe the vehicle can become an extension of your personal living environment onto four wheels. Oliver? We're really happy that we could show it to you today. It is our new technological blueprint for our future. And the good news is, we will begin production next year. I'm really looking forward to seeing the car on the road. So thank you for joining us today. And last but not least, we have another surprise for you. So stay tuned.
has the role of uh, being a pinnacle, a technical lighthouse. A courageous approach to transfer the BMW Group into the future. The way we designed the products goes a little deeper. We created the car from the inside out. A very focused view on what our customers want. The exterior is monolithic. Simple and very modern. Every detail is designed to blend in with the sculpture. We try to approach some sort of wow effect. Some people even said this is not a BMW. It's more the philosophical approach, how we want to integrate all these high-tech possibilities into a more human interaction or scenario. It is reduced, clean, yet warm and welcome. Just imagine if you only draw a single stroke, it will be very conspicuous. If you have more, you don't know where to look. Yeah, we did try out different ways of thinking like a startup. Think big. Old, 20 people, freaky ideas. We start from scratch. Fail quick, learn fast. It is like regaining the feeling of having just graduated. Draw what I think, think without boundaries. To pioneer themes and questions that will come up. The IX takes the iFleet a big step forward. It is a pathfinder. I don't believe that emotions will disappear in the future. We don't stop to love, we don't stop to hate. And we will use all these new technologies in a healthy and meaningful way. The future will be bright and positive. Let's go inside. try to create a design where we start from the customer and we develop the car from the inside to the outside. Human-centric design puts people into center stage. When I started the design process of the iX interior, I began with the approach of really questioning every element in this car um, and really asking myself, does the car need this? Um, and if it didn't, I took it out. Perfect space on wheels is inviting, it's inspiring, and it's relaxing at the same time. It's a space that invites you to come in, to bring your friends, bring your family, a space that is open, that is light-flooded and very airy. Everything was more like, okay, how you feel more comfortable inside the car. A place that is uplifting and cozy at the same time. Especially in the interior, we really started with the approach of designing everything more like a living room interior. Armchairs, sofas, tables. We're not designing a car, but we're designing a living space. A truly purpose-built architecture. We didn't just settle for making a pretty looking car. And throughout the process, all of our disciplines, they really merged. We basically reinvented the company regarding processes. For me, the future of mobility is very cozy, welcoming, and feels like a second home. We do have a lot of responsibility in uh, taking care of resources which we use since we are strongly connected to our environment. We were able to use recycled materials and develop them into the highest level of luxury. I think we have to give back. We have to make sure that we leave a little footprint behind for the next generations. Sustainability is not only a buzzword, it's an attitude. Let's make the future bright, positive and simple.